a ranger build based on a character as they appear in this short minute and a half YouTube video. All right. So we have to watch a minute and a half YouTube video. And then base a character build off of that. We're going to watch this YouTube video and see what's up. This is a Power Rangers YouTube video. Apparently, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Let's see. Character that does what the character does in this. Let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't think it's the bad guys who we're supposed to be looking at. No, no, no. That doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. So a monk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who has a gun? Mm hmm. So melee combat, but with some type of gun. So, but is it like unarmed? So is this like a? But you'd have to swap between hand wraps and rune arms. How would you do that? Because hand. So rune arms make you un. Rune arms make you uncentered. So you can't use a rune arm while being centered. So you lose all your key. So you'd have to use your key. And then swap to a rune arm. All gun-like weapons, by the way, are 100% unfortunately under the realm of uncentering. Crossbows, rune arms, everything. So I have no idea how this is supposed to work. Although it does have some flashy animations. I did, I'm going to be honest. I did not know. Oh, and he has a sword too? Ooh. Wait. How do you get a sword into this now? Also, he conjured the sword, which is a shadow blade. But he actually has a sword. Okay, okay, hold on. How do we make this work? All right. Okay, so right here we have Artificer Monk Ranger with minus four build points. I'm assuming that this is a 32-point build called Eric Myers. Okay, so very, very interesting. We need to make this work. So Ranger, Artificer, Monk. Artificer gets the rune arm so you can swap into it. The question I have is the ranger. Why do we have ranger in this build? Because it's a power ranger. So that's just like, the, the it writes itself, right? So you need to be a ranger. So it, like, regardless, it has to be in the build. I just feel like the answer is the monk and not the ranger part. Also, your rune arm is based on your artificer level and your intelligence, at which point this character has zero. And it's also really acrobatic. So I think dex should be the main stat. Had a gun is a fictional thing. Monks should be able to use rune arms. My argument is infallible, possibly. But did alchemist? You did alchemist, but paladin also works. Like these swapping races, fine tuning. Yeah. Here we okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? We just mean spellcraft. It's their DCs are based off your intelligence. So you don't do damage with rune arms unless you have a good amount of intelligence. Okay. So I kind of want to swap this into more of a monk than a ranger. But it is a power ranger. The ranger needs to be there. But I feel like more monk than ranger. Because I feel like the idea is you want to be using your key as fast as possible while you're building it and then swap to a rune arm. Maybe the answer is to be more artificer, to get more power to the rune arm, and to be an intelligence to hit and damage monk. No, but you're dexterous. Sure. All right, all right. Check out the video. I did. Uh, some ideas. So 12 rangers, mostly because ranger build can't just be some ranger. Okay, it's true. And, and mostly Ranger makes sense. Artificer because you need the pew pew. You need some form of sword special move attack attacks with uh, names worth yelling out. So Thundershock weapon and Caustic Strike. They couldn't find a tree with Quantum Divide and Quantum Displace. Accelerate mode in the form of Haste Boost. And Two Monk for Evasion and Paunching. Mm -hmm. No idea how to add teleporting in combat. Skills jump. Seemed good for feats. Single weapon fighting when using Quantum Power Sword attacks to help finish off enemies faster. Spring attack because it seems like the build needs a mobile combat to help things look good. Form feet to help paunch good. And quick draw because a lot of switching between sword, hand wraps, and crossbow. Not sure which epic destiny would be best. Chose exalted angel and quantum leap. Okay. So you're right. This is a power ranger. So I think ranger does need to be number one. Unfortunately, tempest doesn't work with hand wraps, but the free feats do work with hand wraps, which is important. This is very, very important. On top of that, I think that the weapon of choice should, of course, uh, 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the build. Let's see what we got. So, very importantly, you have to take single weapon fighting before you take ranger. Because if you take ranger, you can't take single weapon fighting. The game will bar you. Because um, it'll be like, oh, you have two weapon fighting, so you can't do this. Uh, so that's important. Uh, improve critical slashing and bludgeoning. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? I'm thinking, you want a sword? In the thing, he summons a sword, okay? I don't know if you saw this, but I saw this uh, as he summons the sword to sword some people with it out of nowhere. So he summons the gun and the sword. So it just comes out of nowhere. Let me just show you on the video again, just to make sure we're absolutely clear. Um, but watch. He presses the button, and then it's a sword now. Right? So the gun is also a sword. So you need the ability to conjure sword with this character build. That is, like, literally part of the build. It is very essential. Um, so I think that it's better to go, instead of slashing, to go with piercing. So you can get the summon from Fade Dark Illusionist. Uh, so that way you can just whip it out and, and have the summon. Uh, and then you still have the single weapon fighting. The two weapon fighting, of course, still works for the bludgeoning, so that makes sense. Spring attack, of course, great idea for being able to dash around through combat. Um, phasing while tumbling is also essential for the whole teleporting behind and through enemies. So you will need to max tumble on this character as a skill. So we'll need to work that in there. And strength is not going to be the main focus, because Ninja Spy is going to let you use charisma to hit, and, or dexterity to hit and damage. So I think that you actually don't even need strength at all in this character. And instead, you want to get all of the uh, dexterity that you can. And then the rest of your points, uh, you probably want some intelligence. So you can get some skills in here, because you're going to need more skills. you got a lot of skills to get. Because the strength is not going to work, because you need uh, dexterity for everything else. So you need magical training somehow. Uh, Artificer gives magical training, so it's not a big deal. And you take Artificer at level 3 here, according to this. I'm looking at the leveling path, and the leveling path is such a nightmare that I think you're pretty good on this. Uh, the only thing I would change up is, of course, your, your enemies. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that Power Rangers fight putties, and putties are definitely constructs. Let's just start right there. So that's already a problem, so we need to fix that. Evil and Chaotic Outsiders... That makes a little bit of sense. Um, they also fight a lot of robots. <clears throat> so again, they need Construct. If you are literally a Power Ranger. Uh, Grandmaster forms. That makes sense. Greater single weapon fighting. Perfect. Perfect. Two weapon fighting. Dire charge. Overwhelming critical. Honestly, this is this is as close as you're going to get for the, the, the good swap. I think this is a good set of abilities. Now let's look at the Enhancement Tree. So you're going up top tier 5 battle engineer for the Thundershock weapon. Of course, this is intelligence based, not going to work as well. Using Shin Tao, so you don't have the dexterity. We've got Deepwood Stalker here. I feel like Deepwood Stalker is probably the key that puts all of this together. You do need cool moves. You do need cool moves, I agree. Um, and that is an important aspect of this, which could be some of your monk moves. Because you just need to use your monk abilities. Which is a big thing. So I would say that, yeah, if you're going to go for moves, uh, Monk Abilities is probably better than Battle Engineer for, like, a bunch of reasons. Um, although I do like the increased melee and range power while wielding a rune arm, which is pretty cool. And the action boost bonus to movement speed while using a rune arm. You'll be swapping between the hand wraps and the one-handed sword and rune arm pretty regularly. Although, in the video, he doesn't actually sword and rune arm at the same time. So you have to think about that. Um, but I feel like most of the stuff here is not as exciting. I would say probably only infused armor, although possibly even not even infused armor. Does Barbarian move speed stack with Monk's move speed? Um, it is impossible to know, actually. That is an untestable fact. You can't test it. So nobody knows if Barbarian move speed and Monk movement speed stack. It is impossible to test. My guess would be maybe, because it's DDO. Um, but if you want cool attacks, we have Renegade Mastermaker right here. Um, Kinetic Discharge, please. And Battle Fist and Mighty Slam. Excuse me, it's all here. And Mighty. You're a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. You don't have Mighty Slam? You're fired, dude. So let's fix some of this. Let's fix some of this. Uh, on top of that, you need to make sure you got the Fade Dark Illusionist tree. How many trees are you allowed to use at the same time? This is going to be a major problem. Oh, you need Fade Arc Illusionist, because you need to grab the Summoned Blade. Does Monk stack with Sprint Boost? Yes. 
Okay, so Battle Engineer, you're going to completely pretty much remove all, remove all your points out of. You need the Rune Arm stuff, so you need the faster charging. Probably some trap skills and infused weapons. And then I'd probably stop here. Uh, Deepwood Stalker, we're going to be going up to the top. You need Fade Arc Illusionist just enough so you can summon the weapons. And Renegade Mastermaker, you want your cool attacks. So grab a Healing Amp, because Hamp is good. Uh, you don't wear armor, so you want toughness. And then this is Alchemical Shield while in armor. Well, you don't use armor, so you want Kinetic Discharge, Mighty Slam, and Battle Fist, of course. These are all very, very good. So these are the attacks that you wanted. Again, Mighty Slam, Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers. It just writes itself. Um, you could even max out Mighty Slam if you wanted. It's an option. And on top of that, you also get Shielding Construct, which makes you immune to magic missiles now, which is very cool on this character. You can cast that. Uh, this is actually just 10 hit points, so you're probably just going to take that. And you can even take the Curative Admixture Cure Serious Wounds if you want for an extra 10 hit points, because you get uh, hit points for each core that you take here. And then you need to go up Deepwood Stalker. You can't take hunt the Mark of the Hunted or the Horizon Shot, but you can pick up an extra favorite enemy. You can grab the extra Double Strike, and you can take the Melee Power from Improved Archers Focused. Uh, but you can't. Uh, but and you can also take head strike, which is another attack. This is a this is like a, a melee combat move. Generally, you're going to use that. And then on top of that, you also need the. Oh, I need another tree. So sorry, Hedge Mystic, you, you're going away. You need Ninja Spy because you need to take advanced ninja training uh, to get access to the. Oh, you need advanced ninja training. <laughs> so we need one less artificer and one more monk. Also, Clyde Frog gifting out 10, or not 10, 5 subs to the stream team. Dude, that's super kind of you. I really appreciate the support. Holy cow, man. That is that is awesome. I'm very grateful. Which means you don't need adaptive forms. Does that brick anything? No. And you get a philosophy, Fists of Light, because you're a good guy. Holy crap, this build is coming together. Um, but yes, welcome to the stream team, Clyde Frog, or sorry, from Clyde Frog, uh, Realms Down, Grunthormu, uh, Dewey Butterneck, Klexi, and the Infinite Dead. Dude, thank you so much. That is very kind of you. Unbelievable. I'm really grateful for that opportunity. That is very kind. Room for Weapon Finesse to get improved Weapon Finesse from Deepwood Stalker. No, there's no there's no room for that feat. But now you have Fists of Light. So now you have that attack that you can use. But Clyde Frog, thank you so much. I really appreciate the subs. I hope you're doing good. Um, thank you. I'm very grateful. And I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I called you for build review earlier. I'm assuming that now you're here, we can do more build review. Okay. So now with three levels of Monk, I can grab... Minus threat generation, movement speed while sneaking. Oh, acrobatic. Because you're a Power Ranger, they flip a lot. So you need to have that. And now we go up here to the top of the Deepwood Stalker tree. Uh, grab Charisma. Um, also, you grab Stealthy. Uh, Stealthy is okay because it gives you a sneak attack die. I've always loved increased empathy for the positive spell power, but you don't really positive spell power anybody. Uh, improved Weapon Finesse only works if you have Dexterity. To oh, I guess actually you could use Improved Weapon Finesse. Oh, it does not work with hand wraps, so you have to do it anyway. So yeah, you wouldn't be able to weapon finesse it because you need the hand wrap effect. Um, long draw. Mm, nope. So strikes like lightning. Head strike. Improved archer's focus. And you have one more point left over. So in theory, you could take tainted creatures. Receptive earth is perfectly fine. Death strikes is great. Um, key shout, less great. But it's something to take. So now your attacks are, instead of being the attacks over here, a Caustic Strike, Shatter Defenses, and Thundershock Weapon, your attacks are instead um, Kinetic Discharge, Mighty Slam, and Battle Fist. Yes, it works for Short Swords, exactly. But you want to have you want to have both, so this works for Hand Wraps as well. Because this is a Hand Wrap, Short Sword, Rune Arm, Monk build. So the way it works, in my eyes, is you need to... When you go with the rune arm one-hander, it's going to drain all your key when you equip your rune arm. So you need to use the rune arm and then um, 
Mighty Slam, Kinetic Discharge, Battle Fist some people. And I think after you Battle Fist, that's when you transition back to the uh, regular longsword, like, or the short sword slapping people with the with the melee weapon, or the, the, the hand wraps. Yes. Yes, this, this works. Let's see, do you want 10 hamp? 10 hamp is pretty good. Or plus one to hit and damage with hand wraps. Important note, you can also use uh, the key attacks as well. Um, because you can use key. That's very neat. Oh, and there's four points spent into strength. No, get rid of this. Um, grab damage boost, because damage boost is damage boost. You can grab uh, dexterity here, because dexterity is dexterity. And you can grab dexterity here. Bam. That more dexterity. Woo! Combat locksmith? No, unfortunately. Like monk attacks. This is such a mess. But now, you have more consistency with your attacks. You're summoning the weapon, which is from the video. Yep, absolutely. Okay, this seems good. Aim shot is... Oh, this is a ranged attack only. And you don't have a ranged attack, so you actually don't need aim shot at all. Let me respect this tree. Keeping stealthy is fine. Armor class against favorite enemies is okay. Sneak attack is good. Um, action boost power is like where you want to go with this. This... Uh, called Strike. Opposing Strike. Survivalist is great. Dexterity is great. Um, plus to hit and damage when attacking a favorite enemy is really good. Because the favorite enemy is your hardest enemies. Survivalist. You can get three stacks in the killer if you want. Plus Merciful Shot. You can grab this plus the Dexterity. Eat lightning Strikes. All this stuff is fine. Which means you actually don't need this uh, damage boost here. So you can instead of damage boost you can take attack boost, so you have more action boost if you want. And this leaves you with two extra points to spend wherever you want. Intelligence or con? Wisdom or con? Rats, man. Yeah, this is a very full tree, by the way. What else do you need in here? I'm trying to think. An extra favorite enemy you could take in here. Uh, you don't take human because you're protecting humans because you're a power ranger. You could use monstrous humanoid because I took monstrous humanoid out. Which would be okay. Or alternatively, you take plus one to hit with hand wraps. You apply plus one to hit with hand wraps and ten healing amp. And one armor class as well, which is not too bad. Oh, this seems okay. All right, but actually, I don't, I don't mind this. So yeah, ten ranger, five artificer, three monk seems good. And now your epic destiny, exalted angel for the ability to move. So the thing about the ability to move here is you don't need to shoot energy beams. You already have the dash. I would posit that what you need is more tumbling. So let's see. You need more tumbling. So if I go to your skills. Tumble is maxed, of course. Somehow you got 24 points, which is hilarious. Um, but so tumble is already maxed, which is great. Oh, do you have all your trapping skills? Because you can literally trap on this character. Which is the funny part. And disable device. Mm hmm. So here's the thing. I don't think you need the wings because the wings also don't fit the aesthetic. That's the main issue I have with it, Leap of Faith. But Magister gives you unearthly reactions, which allows you to phase out of existence when you tumble around. And. Shadow Dancer gets you extra tumble and reflex saves while tumbling, improving your reflexes and your ability to dodge stuff. Now, the real question is whether you want to be a Grandmaster of Flowers. 
Grandmaster of Flowers does grant extra tumbling with perfect balance. And on top of that, it gives you something else tumbling around here. Uh, or while centered, you can use the tumble skill to pass through enemies, enabling you to evade or attack them from by surprise from any side. So Grandmaster of Flowers is neat. It doesn't really work with the character build at all, though. And uh, when you're uncentered, it makes your character really bad. So, yes. Oh, that was the monk ship. That makes sense. So I would say... Mm, and also, you, you wouldn't use first harmonic chord because you would take the unearthly reactions. I would say you probably don't need the tumbling. So you can instead use Shadow Dancer if you wanted. The problem with Shadow Dancer is it would make more no sense to be a shadow form because that doesn't fit with your character. Dark Impugment, like it doesn't feel like your character is a Shadow Dancer. You know what I mean? It just feels like that's not something your character would do. Is you wouldn't try to tumble or you wouldn't try to like be a stealthy whatever. You're a fighter. So I feel like Grandmaster Flowers is the appropriate destiny. So I'm just going to open this up right here. We're in Grandmaster Flowers. Which means you don't technically need unearthly reactions because you have ubiquity, so you can already tumble through bad guys. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then what do you do if you're not doing this? Uh, you need a hundred percent dodge, uh, which is really important. So out of Shadow Dancer, you are probably going to put in points here to meld into darkness instead of grim precision. And the reason you want this is because um, being able to dodge every attack is very Power Ranger, so that's important. How long are you going to be streaming? Probably for another four hours or so. I think. Ish. LD for Pulverizer? I don't know. I feel like Grandmaster Flowers is the way to go. Let's reset this. The perfect balance gives you more tumble, which is good. Now, you don't need this. Because this is maximum key. And you don't need maximum key. Because you're trying to spend it. So then you can go back to using the rune arm and meleeing people. So instead, you grab a dance of flowers. Some tumble. Um, running with the wind gives move speed. And double strike, which is good. And hail of blows, which is good. Now, no saving fill saves in a one. Or uh, uh, fortitude saves. Do you need this? I didn't really fit the build. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Light as a feather. Um, your character does always get up, but you're a monk, so you already slow your movement speed, so it's not a big deal. Orchid Blossom. Does your character shoot out energy blasts? I don't think the character shoots energy blasts. I have to rewatch for inspiration. We're going to rewatch this video real quick. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit so I can kind of, like, see it. Okay, so he's getting hit. By the Power Rangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Go away. Okay, no, he's, he's kicking people. He's teleporting around. He has a gun, but he's he doesn't he doesn't have an... He, I don't see any energy beams. So I feel like any, any ranged move attacks are... Like, it would only be guns, not energy. So I can't... You, you wouldn't take any of the attacks out of here. So you want agility and speed, but you can't use... But you can't use energy beams. Okay. So none of these attacks work. Yeah, no energy. So waves is probably fine. Let's just grab some dexterity and skip up, uh, skip on up. Um, piercing clarity just makes sense because your character is like very fast moving and needs to see stuff. Grab some more dexterity because that's good. Um, devastating criticals is great. Dancing with flame character seems very intense. Strong willed. You don't have wisdom, so Grandmaster of Flowers, everything is nothing is useless to you. But you need something that costs a bunch of key. So I'm going to say probably Drifting Lotus is a move you would take. And the reason you take Drifting Lotus is because Drifting Lotus is like a knockdown, and the character clearly knocks people into the ground in the video. Yeah. Better punching without being centered, but you have to be you have to be centered, dude. They're power rangers. Power rangers are basically monks. They're ninjas. And the only ninja you can play is literally a ninja spy. So we're gonna have some more dexterity so you can be a better ninja. And then um Actually, you know what? No fail reflex saves on a one. That sounds about right. Cool. Alright. Seems good. 
Now, I didn't ask, but do you want me to do items? I don't think you need items for level cap, but do you want me to sort out items if you want to bring this to a raid? And farm out crap? I feel like this is straight up a leveling build because it's cool. Because, yeah, the Power Rangers... Again, you got to be a Power Ranger. What gear I'd recommend. All right. Well... So a bastard sword plus a rune arm here. Um, of course, you would not use a bastard sword. That's ridiculous. Uh, you would use a short sword and specifically no crash. Perfect. Doesn't crash. So there's your short sword that you would want to use. That's important. Actually, rangers work better than fighter. I said they're monks. More like fighters. Well, this is a ranger, artificer, monk. Because he's got to have the gun. You got to have that gun. So that's important. So he's got the gun here. Um, alternate build will have uh, hand wraps as well because you need to be using hand wraps um, and he also his gun is like straight up a laser beam so I feel like as far as that goes you need one of the short range lasers as opposed to suppressive fire which is kind of like a ranged exploding fire shot um, Tobin's prototype is not what you want machination of madness is not what you want not dumpster fire quarantine necronomicon and lucid dreams breaking the Bank, Blight, Inferno. Mm, Arc Welder. Is this the melee one? Oh, Arc Welder says it's Corrupted Fire Blast. Oh, geez. There's two Arc Welders, and neither of the correct ones are in here. So you're probably going with Salt Shot on this one. Probably where you're going with Driftwood. It's probably Salt Shot, because it's the most visually representative. What on earth is this build? This build is the quantum power build. And the idea is to make a character that most closely resembles the character from this YouTube video. Hmm. It didn't post. Hold on. Um, this YouTube video. Okay. So we have part of the family set, which makes sense. Winter set. Sure. And you need dexterity instead of strength. And you might need some intelligence somewhere. This gets quality strength here and insightful strength. So we can just craft this to dex. Craft this to dex. And honestly, this is just a really good item. <laughs> uh, yeah, all seems about right. Intelligence and insightful accuracy. Accuracy. Uh, there's no artifact. Which is really screwy. The problem is that the only artifact you would use is the Sigil of the Triumvirate. And if you use the Sigil of the Triumvirate, it's actually not that bad, but then you would replace the helmet. So you wouldn't use the Umber Brim. And you also don't have Stunning anymore. So actually, you wouldn't use this. So let me change these items. Never mind. I completely disagree with what I just said. I think this item set is garbage, and I am completely changing it. Sorry. Uh, also, that was hyperbole. I don't think it's garbage, but I was just being hyperbolic. Uh, so now instead of using that, you're going to use the uh, Stun Arena, Corroded Iron Figurine, with the Stunning, Insightful Stunning, Quality Stunning, Extra Stunning, Ultra Stunning, Over Stunning. And then replace this Helmet. So we have Dex now, this. Now you don't need this Helmet, because you don't need any of these stats. These are all useless. And uh, go with Dex. And I, Is there a Quality, Dexterity, Helmet, Insightful Dex? Dex? No. No, there's no good Helmet here. Stunning on Belt. Did I said 21 decks twice? No, I, that was insightful decks. What are we getting from Monk? Titania's? Mm, maybe. So the idea is the Monk is so you can use hand wraps so you can melee combat people. You need to be able to you need to be able to fist fight people. So you need hand wraps. Then you need monk for hand wraps. Alchemist Crown, no. Final Watcher, no. Fade Arc Fairy Lights, ooh. Jar of Sage's Cowl, Crown of Bone, from the Artifact from the Prowess of Fo Promise of Fire. So weird that there's an artifact that drops out of this quest. Citadel's Gaze, Aspect of the Wild Hunt, Con 21, Insightful Double Strike, Elemental Resistance, and Bone Paws. Doesn't really fit. But you need a mask for sure. Mask of the Volcurum kind of fits because it is a mask. 
Yeah, probably Titania's Glory. Titania's Glory makes all your weapons good. So you have Holy on all your weapons, which is kind of important. Yeah, I think quality decks kind of sucks. Because you have the Dire Wolf Belt, which gives you reinforced fists, which is good for your fist attacks. And it gives you a shield bonus to your armor class. Any of the helmets match the model in the video? No way. I'm staring at this character's this character's face, and there's no way that nothing matches that helmet. It's like a visor. Again, you need a Power Ranger helmet. I don't know. Anyway, so now we're going to copy this and paste it. This is hand ramp. So yeah, you have two item sets. So you have whether you're using the regular item set or the hand wrap. And with hand wraps, you want to swap this to hand wraps. And because you're a Power Ranger, what is the best hand wrap for you to use? It wouldn't be Platinum Knuckles, I don't think. Um, it would be an interesting idea, but I don't think it would be Platinum Knuckles. Although this would give you Double Strike instead of Insightful Double Strike, which would be kind of neat. Mask from Dragon on Thunder Peak. Yeah, possibly. Because you don't have to use this, but you don't have Insightful Double Strike here, so you get the Double Strike back that you're missing. So, yeah, probably that. I can't believe I'm saying that, but yeah, get the Platinum Knuckles in there. Because you already have the Insightful Deadly, so you don't need that on the gloves. Double Strike is better than Insightful Double Strike. And the Seeker is not bad. Plus you get Impact, Bone Splitter, and Transmuted at Platinum. Sweet. Yeah, but you don't want to go raiding for this, I for this build. Please don't raid for this build. Don't raid for this build. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't go run raids with the goal of running this character. So what gloves? You can't wear gloves. That's the best part about this item. The Platinum Knuckles de-equips your gloves. So then if you want to swap back to the... Because it's part of the family set. So that way, if you want to uh, swap back to the standard build, you have to equip your gloves as well. What a horrible idea. Fine, I'll change it back. All right, fine. I'll change it back. Uh... Only because you guys want me to. Uh, Fetters of the Forge Wraith, no. Probably Dualities. It's the only one that really fits, thematically. And Family. Turning people to Platinum? Come on. So yeah, so this is basically your character now. Uh, it is a dexterity. Oh wait, did I do something wrong? I did. This is a dexterity based melee hybrid using hand wraps and rune arms and short swords. You summon, you summon short sword until you can actually get the item Esper the Shadow Blade, which is your conjured weapon. And you would need two artifacts, and this is probably fine, yeah, because you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of uh, melee power and stuff. Oh my god, yeah, it's we're off the rails, man. This is all this build is all over the place. This is not a good build. Please don't run this. Please don't run this character. Uh, and of course, you obviously need to get a uh, Sapphire of Resistance in here, just so you have some extra saves. You know, you, you need to bump up those saves. Um, and then also, you need to make sure you've got a uh, Sapphire of Defense as well, because this character you know doesn't have uh, Magic Resistance rating, so let's just shove that in there. And there you go. You want to play a Power Ranger? Oh, Quiver? Um, yeah, you actually don't use a Quiver, because uh, he doesn't have a Quiver in the video, he just has his armor. Um, and then as far as cosmetic, I believe you would wear the red dragon outfit and the red dragon helmet for cosmetic. I'm just going to copy this and then make this, and this is cosmetic. I believe you would run the red dragon robe? Is there an outfit? I believe you would run the robe. Probably the light armor, actually, for the cosmetic. For the red dragon hide armor. And the red dragon helmet. That's probably what's going to fit the best. It's like, let's just look at the red dragon hide. 
Epic Red Dragon Hide Armor. That's pretty close. It's got it's a little it's not as like it's a little spiky. Hmm. What what else is there? Hold on. Epic Vault of Night items. Red Dragon Scale Scale Armor. That one's not bad. And the Dragon Plate? No. I think the Dragon Scale actually. Kind of fits the best. No, because it's got to be like as red as possible, and it's it's got a few breaks. So that seems good. And you want it, you kind of want it to be tight to the body on like a robe, which is my worry. Like the problem with the robe is that it's it's got like the the actual robe bits, so it does it binds your legs, and you don't want to bind your legs. Um, obviously, these are cosmetics that you would have to create yourself, so you will need to go and um, you will need to create your own cosmetics here. So you have to go get the red dragon scale armor. A red dragon. Wait, what's red dragon hide? Is that a different item? And then the helmet. Yeah, red dragon hide seems good. Green ranger works perfectly as a razor claw shifter barbarian. Possibly. There we go. So there's your there's your ranger. Uh, this is the power ranger quantum power. For Eric Myers, the Quantum Ranger. At least I'll run this character build. But it is very interesting. It's very well themed. It's on point. I gotta say, and this character would look very cool. And when you ask to join the party, someone's gonna be like, oh, this is a weird build. And then when you're swapping between rune arm, short sword, and hand wraps, you're gonna be confusing a lot of people. Hmm, what a fun idea. Oh.